Space. Earth. In the near future, at the end of the 20th century. Nuclear war has engulfed the planet. Active ashes of North America, a new breed of soldier is reborn. Main cortex online. Theta waves at four pulses and rising. 4.6 now, working. Induce delta. Keep him under 0.5 pulses. Limb actuators online. Uh huh? Cyber heart pumping at 130%. He's a strong one. Upload the program. Sergeant Rex Power Colt, you are a Mark IV now. Part man, part machine, but all Cyber Commando. Wake you, wake you, motherfucker. Op says there's a delay in the feed. You need to recalibrate your ass. Me? Well, it ain't me, because I'm goddamn near perfect. Men want to be me? And you want to be with men? Yeah, I got it. Coming up on our target. Briar patch orders downloading. Mission parameters. Penetrate enemy bunker and download intel on enemy operation. Full lethal sanction enabled. Opposition is black sector threat. Repeat, black sector threat. Geneva Convention restrictions lifted. Lieutenant, just who the hell are we taking down? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. But Black Sector, that could only mean a handful of outfits. All of them bad news, Spider. Alert. Alert. Flight arc guidance detected. Helix room 7-3 is no longer on stealth sector. Evasive, evasive, evasive. That mean what I think it means? <laughs> just like that thing in Central America. I'm gonna have me some fun. Set us down now! Proceeding to coordinates. I gotta do my shit. I'll find a bunker entrance! And I'll provide the distraction. Let's show them how Cyber Commandos get it done. Mark IV style, motherfucker! <laughs> On the mainframe. Secure that intel. Work your black magic, Lieutenant. Hey, don't be hating a brother for his skills now. Alert. Unauthorized access detected. Kimball Bunker. Enter passcode. You have 20 seconds to comply. Spider. I know, I know. Four, four, three, two, one. 
Defensive countermeasures active. Beginning pre-launch diagnostics. Initiating decapitation strike protocols. The helo is picking up multiple heat signatures converging on you. It's moving into position, Lieutenant. I'll cover you. You better! Objective. Protect Lieutenant Brown while he hacks the mainframe. I'm gonna have to hijack the system. But this could burn out my main Cortex CPU. Just come back in one piece. You got a wife and kid waiting for you. Hey, Rex! If this don't work, you tell them. You tell them I died for my country. Tell her that yourself. You hear me? Right. There goes the fist jam. I did it! Yeah! Objective failed. What? Pre-launch checklist complete. Coordinates uploaded. Spider! Focus, Lieutenant. What am I supposed to do? Shit! Helo 7-3. Requesting immediate evac. Lieutenant Brown is down. Helo 7-3. Impelled. Rex! Too much information! Hey, 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 I corrupted! Blood! Decapitation strike countdown has begun. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Missile launch autonomous! G -g -g Get to the control plate! What? Out the ignition controls! On the control box! Shoot, 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 shoot the brain cage! Rex, shoot the... Shit! HUD, locate the missile control panel for me. 5x5. Five five. Highlighting objective. Objective. Disable secondary ignition controls. Missile in position. Rebooting. Stand by. They're back online, Colonel. Thank you, darling. That's Dr. Darling. Dr. Elizabeth Veronica Darling. Colonel Sloan, it's us. Sergeant Rex Power Colt. Lieutenant T.T. Brown. Of course. They sent you boys after me. Now that right there is the definition of insanity. Darling, you are looking at two genuine Mark IVs. Top of the line. In their day. I know what happened to your face. Price of power, boys. She's a mean, demanding bitch. She's a wildcat in the sack. Sir. What happened? They said you went off the reservation. It's gotta be a mistake. Ever since the nuking of Canada and the invasion of Australia, the world's been floundering something fierce. We've lost our way, gentlemen. And now the government, our government, talks reconciliation with the Red Menace. But I have a means to redress the balance. Rex, he's lost it, man. What are your orders regarding me and Omega Force, huh? How much does Washington know? I'm sorry, sir. I respect you, but I can't. <laughs> and you've bought into their goddamn lies. What a pity. Did you download my mainframe into your cortex? Fuck you. <laughs> I know what you're planning. Your Mark Force was smart. A way too independent life. What the fuck? Uh, uh, ooh, yeah! Anyone can be brought in line. We'll be taken offline! No! <laughs> you are dead. I am 
printed you Mark IVs with all my combat savvy, right? Tell you what, I'm giving you a shot at the Brass Spring, boy! Objective complete. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. What are those things? We're not sure. Perhaps a living fossil from the early Cretaceous period. We call them blood dragons, BDs for short. When Sloan drank their blood, it supercharged his cybernetics. He drank their blood? Is that a joke? No, Sergeant. If it is a joke, I'm afraid it's a bad one. The blood supercharged Sloan, making him even more powerful. And one ugly motherfucker. Why are you helping Sloan? And what does he want with that rocket? Sergeant, slow down, please. We were using the rockets to test biochemical payloads of the dragon's blood. Rockets? As in more red spears? How many? I don't know. A lot. I don't think Sloan is interested in tests anymore. And I don't even want to get into what it does to normal people. That's why you went AWOL? Sergeant, Sloan wasn't entirely there to begin with. Now he has the rockets and... God knows what he's planning. What's with the needle, Doc? Listen, this will make you more like Sloane. Powerful, but without the side effects. No, Doc. No way. I swore an oath to a special lady. Your wife? No. Lady Liberty. She taught me that winners don't use drugs. All right, look. Sloan runs three top secret facilities, each critical to his operations. I'm sending you their coordinates. Contact me when you reach them, and I'll give you all the intel you need. You got yourself a deal, Doc. What about you? Are you safe here? Just as long as Sloan doesn't realize I'm helping you. Good luck. Touch. I got the power, yeah! Doc, I got the kill star. It's Sloan's bedtime, and I plan to tuck him in under six feet of dirt. This is the kill star. I feel rock and roll already. Concern. Detecting elevated body temperature. Shit balls. I'm burning up. Your body isn't used to that much energy. We need to teach your nervous system and muscles to properly channel the kill star. Spider. Should have been him strapping this thing on. If you can't do it with him, Rex, do it for him. You're right. I need to even the score. For Spider? No. For humanity. Never surrender to the doubts that cloud your mind. Never retreat from who you are. No, love is magic that you carry on and on and on and on. Know what you're fighting for. Hold on. So far, but something tells me you're still holding back. Don't worry, Doc. I won't hold back anymore. I want to be blinded with your cyber love. Mm. 
Ah. Uh. Oh, yes. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. No, 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 no. Rex. I never thought a cyber commando could be so gentle. I know. My organs, my bones, my blood are 85% synthetic. But you're still 100% man. At least, the parts that matter. Oh, Rex. Is this truly it? No. Not until Sloane's dead, Elizabeth. He's gonna fire those rockets on every continent in the world. He's a monster, Rex. The new payload will infect everyone. They'll become prehistoric savages. Society will collapse. It, it will be a new Stone Age. And what emerges will no longer be human. He thinks he's doing everyone a favor. But so am I, by killing him first. You saved me before, Rex. Now, it's time to save the world. Elizabeth? No. Alert. New parameters enabled. Stand by for updated objectives. What? Rex, it's me, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. If you're hearing this, it means something's happened to me. Rex, before I met you, I thought... I thought I'd never love a man again. I know you think of yourself as less than human, but you carry something more precious than your one billion dollars worth of military spec hardware. More powerful than the hydrogen energy cell in your chest. You carry a human soul with you everywhere you go. And you carry my heart. Your arm now opens the high security bunker inside the compound. Go get him. Objective. Breach Danko compound and access high security bunker. And Rex, don't do it for me. Do it for world peace. What the hell? Welcome home, killer. Sloane, the only killing I got left in me is killing you. And then what? Retire to the suburbs? Mow the lawn every Saturday and watch football on Sunday? That ain't you, Rex. You don't mow down lawns. You mow down lives. You're crazy. I'm a god now. Not just man. Not just machine, but a fusion of both. A new Zeus on high ruling the new species of man. You could have been one of my cyber priests, serving with free will at my right hand. But I guess it's time to retire you mock wars once and for all. You guessed wrong, Sloan. Dead wrong. Alert. Systems compromised. Unable to kill Sloan. I'm so sorry, Rex. What a waste! You've grown all soft. <laughs> like them Washington politicians. Do you know they've been negotiating for peace with the Reds? Peace, Rex. Peace. Ah, why can't I kill you? You pathetic son of a bitch. You ain't nothing but a bundle of wires and program. There was nothing left of Rex Power Code when it found you. Just DNA, without a soul. No. I gave you my memories, my experiences, my childhood. No! Rex. I programmed you. I made you. I am your father. No! Rex, maybe 
Maybe turning you into a machine saved your life, but it never changed what really mattered. Your heart. But you also remember. You're more than a collection of wires, lines of code. I believe in you, Rex. Now just believe in yourself. Lights out, Rex. No. Lights on! Elizabeth! Rex! You killed Colonel Sloan! I guess all that power just went to his head. So what now, Rex? They're gonna come in here and take everything. Your research, the weapons, the dragon's blood. Is that what you want? An army of monsters? That's what Sloan wanted, but I'm not him. I reactivated all the fail-safe booby traps in the bunkers. Just one push, and everything goes up in flames. You... you saved us, Rex. Or just maybe, Doc. This time, you saved me. No, Rex. We saved each other.